so again just to revise fx x tends to c so fx is continuous at c if fx x tends to c the limit is equal to f of c so lim x tends to c should be here so fx x tends to c, c should be equal to f of c so we will look at one problem here and that will teach you about greatest integer function okay greatest integer function so greatest integer function is written as this which means that for example x is 3.4 then greatest in integer function will be 3 it means greatest integer less than equal to x okay so what will be that of 4.3 the greatest integer less than equal to 4.3 is 4.0 or 4 and for negative numbers or 0 0.2 what will be the greatest integer less than equal to 0 0.2 it will be 0 and y minus 1.5 what will be the greatest integer less than equal to minus 1.5 so it is minus 2 so now you understand this so first we will try to see is fx is equal to this x greatest integer function x how does this function look like and find if it is continuous or not okay so we try to plot this okay we try to plot this function let's say it is 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on okay of course this is 0 so what happens here so in 0 to 1 so there are points like 1.1.2.33 0.45, 0 0.99, etc. So for all numbers in 0 to 1, okay, so this is closed interval, this is open. So for all these points, step x is this, it is 0, okay. But for 1, what is this? Greatest value less than equal to 1, so it becomes 1. So suddenly, so there is a discontinuity and it goes like this and again for 1.1 1 1.2 1 1.3 1 till 1.95 some 1.99 it's all greatest integer less than equal to this is 1 so it goes till here and at 2 it becomes suddenly so there is a jump in value and it becomes 2 here okay then between 3 to 4 it will be 3 okay so this is 3 and at 4 it will be what 4 and it goes like this so this is the greatest integer function this value is 0 this is 1 2 3 4 okay and similarly if we see at here so any point if you consider minus 0.1 minus 0.2 minus 0.5 minus 0.75 minus 0.99 for all these the greatest integer function less than equal to x is what so it's minus 1 okay so it is minus 1 so from here on so at 0 it is 0 but afterwards it is till minus 1 minus 1 it is like this so it is minus 1 but between the point minus 1 okay so now let's see one thing very important so what will be the greatest integer function of minus 1 so this is minus 1 itself so this goes on till here minus 1 
and any number like minus 1.1 minus 1.2 minus 1.9 so all these number greatest integer less than equal to these is minus 2 so now suddenly at it goes to okay so minus 2 similarly it will be something like okay so minus 3 so I hope this graph is correct so what happens now so you see so this is the graph and at minus 3 the value will be minus 3 this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so now we see we have the plot for fx and of course we see it is not continuous at integer integer points so integers at integer it is not continuous it's not continuous at 0 not continuous at 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 0 it's not continuous okay because the left hand limit and the right hand limit are not same okay so that's why this is the reason it's not continuous okay so this greatest integer function is not continuous at integers point and for all other points it is continuous okay so now we will just try to look at one problem that you can get so that is now you are asked let's say g of x is x minus step x or greatest integer less than equal to x so if you are asked to plot this so what will this look like okay now let's see so it's bit difficult but if we try to look like this x is something w plus r where w belongs to whole number okay it is negative 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 till in minus infinity and 1 2 3 4 till infinity and r is between 0 is less than equal to r is less than 1 okay so r is less than and it's not equal to 1 because if you add 1 then it will be the next number x plus 1 so now what happens so step x or is just equal to w okay we can write like this so gx is equal to x minus step of x so let's say that okay x is greater than so x is greater than zero okay so there was some problem in my pen so x is greater than zero so what happens we have x is equal to w plus r okay so where w is now zero so this w becomes it's not sorry it's not whole number but it is integer okay this is integer so w now it is this one will be whole number okay 0 1 2 3 till infinity okay so what happens x minus step x so this is w plus r minus step x is directly w so this is r okay now g of x is equal to r okay that's what we get because this w part goes away okay only the number fractional part remains okay so if we see this and try to plot so let's try to see one two three four five 
so we see that okay r so when let's say we take between 0 to 1 numbers 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.9 so for all these numbers what happens x minus step x so it keeps on increasing that r is increasing and when it becomes 1 of course so it will become a new number so it goes till here again when x becomes 1 so w becomes 1 r becomes 0 and here w was 0 r was increasing and it was 0 0.1 0 0.2 like that so at when r w x becomes 1 then w becomes 1 and r becomes 0 so it is like this here okay and again when it becomes like 1.1 .1, then w is 1 r is 0.1 so again it is increasing only r part we have to take so it becomes something like this okay so so we have this graph okay so gx is this one for x is greater than equal to 0 okay now let's see how this function looks like when x is less than 0 so again here also x is let's say w plus r again because greatest integer less than equal to okay so what happens again step x will be r no it will be w and x minus step x will be w plus r minus w so it will be r okay so now let's try to see the behavior at some numbers so we will take some numbers between minus 2 and minus 1 so minus 1.1 minus 1.2 minus 1.3 minus 1.5 minus 1.8 minus 1.9 okay so for all these number what is w so it is minus 2 greatest integer less than equal to these numbers but what is r now so let's say for minus 1.1 what is r so minus 2 plus something so plus r is equal to minus 1.1 so r is 0.9 so r is 0.9 for this 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.1 so we see that okay so r one point and for some number very close to minus one so let's see so minus 1.1 it is 0 0.9 okay so it is a positive number so and at minus 1.9 it is very small so it is also increasing something like here and at minus 1 of course what will be the value of this okay so we have to see so it is something like this again so at let's see minus 1.999 so we can write it as minus 2 plus 0 0.001 something like this isn't it so what we see it is becoming very small till here okay so this way the function will keep on and let's see at the integral points so at minus 2 so greatest integer less than equal to so it will be minus 2 itself so it will be 0 r will be 0 so it is fine here so it is again like this so we have something like this the function and 
we can say that okay this function is also g of x is equal to x minus step of x is discontinuous at all integers okay so it is discontinuous at all integers and it is continuous at all other points so 